Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. So right now I have on my face so far the Surratt Dew Drop Foundation in 1.5 and I also have um, my eyes are done. This is the Tom Ford Holiday Quad Soleil Diva um, which is number three from the Holiday Collection and then um, yeah that's basically it. So I have those items on and I wanted to try out uh, a new cream blush exclusive to the Kosas website. So this is called um, Helios. Here's the box um, if you want to see the ingredients. So, you know, basically this is way warmer and way darker than what I typically wear. I actually did not expect it to be this dark. Sorry, I got something on here already. Um, I didn't expect this to be this dark when I ordered it online, but I was just kind of interested in trying it and it was, you know, on sale with some of those Black Friday deals and everything. So I thought it was a good, good opportunity to try it. So along with that, they also released an exclusive lipstick uh, called Phoenix. So these together, they call it their Phoenix Rising um, collection. So they're currently exclusive to the Kosas website. This is a blush, and they describe it as a burnt orange, and then we have a highlighter here. And they're both darker than what I would typically wear, so I thought we would try that out. So I'm gonna start by, let's start with swatching. So this is the blush, okay, and here it is. Let's just see how much it shears out. Now, their cream blushes are really easy to work with, and they have a very light texture. Um, they don't get really tacky or sticky, and they're really pretty easy to sheer out. So you can see how, how easy that was to work with. Okay, the highlighter is definitely going to be more goldish. So that's here. Add a little bit more there. So, let's see. Again, these highlighters... They work out, um, they blend out very, very nicely. They have more of a shimmer than any sort of real sparkle. Um, and again, they also have the same texture as the blush, essentially. So it's a very light, smooth texture. It doesn't feel like super silicone-y or anything like that, but it still feels very, very smooth. All right, so um, let's start off with the blush. I'm gonna start off just kind of dabbing it on and I'm going to work it in with my fingers. So I'm just going to kind of pat it. Okay, actually that worked, um, that color works a lot better than I expected. So I actually kind of like that. I think on the other side, we're going to test out one of the blush brushes from Refer. And I'm going with a smaller brush. This is going to be Refer number 18. And these blushes are all a bit tapered, um, which I typically prefer something a little bit more domed, a little flatter on top than these. So I just dabbed a bit on the tip and just going to also do a dabbing motion here and see how it compares with the brush. Alright, so I think with the brush, you just could see too much of that stippling motion. It doesn't smooth out as nicely. I think a lot of that is because this is such a tapered brush. So I kind of have to swirl it a bit. Um, but I do like the application on both sides here. So I think they, it turned out very nicely. I, I'm actually very surprised that this color looks as natural as it does. And obviously these blushes, they do build up. Here, I'll put on just a tiny bit more color here. And I prefer actually with this texture, kind of using my fingers with these blushes, just because they are so easy to work with. And I just think it gives a really natural application with fingers. 
most cream blushes, I prefer to use my fingers actually. But there are some, you know, that it really, you know, either way it goes. Um, and in that case, my favorite blush brush to use for any of the um, cream blushes is actually it's the Sonia G. This is the classic cheek. So I just prefer the shape for cream blushes. So if you have something, a similar shape, you can see that it's kind of like more domed and a little bit flatter on top. Um, and it's a smaller cheek blush brush. Sorry, I keep mixing those words up. Um, but I think that works really well. That shape works really well for me for cream blushes. Um, whereas this rougher one, you can see that it's much more domed at the top. So I just feel like it doesn't, it's better for um, powder in my opinion, but um, it's okay. So that's it for the blush. Now let's try the highlighter. I'm just gonna put this on top here. Highlighter, I have to say, I'm actually really impressed. I thought this stuff would end up looking like I would look like an orange clown or something, but it, shears out so nicely. I feel like you could actually really use this on pretty much any skin tone. Um, I, I'm impressed. So I, I like this. The highlighter is all of the cream highlighters that I've tried from Kosas. I've tried, uh, I think three of them now. This is my third. Um, they are all very natural, very subtle, and really something that you could use on any part of your face essentially just because it's really more of a, a slight shimmer to it so you know I think overall um it turned out very nicely so oh I, I really like that that is definitely a lot <laughs> a lot more wearable than I was thinking when I first opened it I saw it and I, I gasped I was like oh my goodness all right so I want to try on the phoenix lipstick and let's just try this on. We'll do a light coat first. So I'm just kind of dabbing it right now. So this is described as a fiery red. And I have to say, most of um, Kosas's lipsticks, I have a lot of their um, lipsticks in the dark range or in the red range in general and they all kind of uh, have more of a pinky undertone and my lips do have a tendency to turn a lot of lipsticks looking you know kind of pink and you know I have to say this one also has a cool undertone to it to me so I, I definitely see some pink tint to it but um, it's way more neutral than the other ones that I have from Kosas so I I like this. Um, let's go ahead and put on a little bit more. This little spot on my lip, I have a, a little scar here. And uh, yeah, so my lipstick always gets a little funky on this portion. Yeah, I've had the scar basically my whole life, so unfortunately not much I can do about it. <laughs> All right, so that is the Phoenix lipstick. And I'll switch on my hand too next to this, um, just so you guys can see that. So you can definitely see as it, let me show you, as this is shearing out, you can definitely see that it's way more cool tone than I expected from the description. Um, and you can see as it kind of shears out uh, that it gets a little bit more of a hot pink look to it here. So definitely more kind of like a bright strawberry red. So I think, um, you know, definitely a cool tone red. But I really like the color personally. So I think it's a nice shade. All right. So that's it for that. And... Okay, so just some final thoughts. 
So I personally think Kosas is a great brand. I think it is highly underrated. Um, it's still, you know, a relatively new brand and they have definitely been expanding their line. So I hope that they get more recognition. I feel like they um, have great quality products. They're at a fair price point and they are clean beauty. So, you know, if you're interested in that, I think they are a great, um, great brand. And, you know, they're, again, just like a lot of high-end skincare or high-end makeup brands, they have skincare um, ingredients included in their products. I feel like a lot of brands are doing that now, but I just, I in, really enjoy these products. Um, so I have not tried every product from Kosas. For example, they have some liquid eyeshadows. I've not, I have not tried anything for that. I have really used a lot of the lip products and blush products. And I use both the cream and the powder blushes. I tend to prefer powder blushes in general and the Kosas ones are highly pigmented. Um, so they, you have to use a light hand. Um, I have not tried the high intensity version ones just because the regular ones are so highly pigmented already that, you know, th they blend easily. So it's not really, you know, uh, hard to work with or anything, but because they are already so highly pigmented, I don't feel the need to try the high intensity. The cream blushes, I think are fantastic. Um, they have a really nice texture. A lot of cream blushes that I've tried from other brands, they end up either feeling like tacky or sticky or, you know, they dry down so quickly that they're hard to blend. And the Kosas ones do not do that. They have a very light, silky texture to them and they're very easy to work with. You can shear them out or you can have them more um, vibrant. So I think that helps work with a lot of different skin tones because you can get that intensity very easily. Um, the highlighter, so all of their blushes, powder and cream, they always come with a, paired with a highlighter. So the highlighters, again, they're always going to be a soft, um, subtle shimmer to them. And they're really easy to work with, just like the cre cream blushes, um, the powder highlighters as, as well. Um, but I, I love them. I don't feel that they are a strong highlighter. So if I want like a true highlighted look on my face, I do use a different product, but they are a nice subtle highlight that you could use every day. Um, and I think they work great. Now, staying powder power for the cream blushes, um, they stay pretty well. They last on me throughout the majority of the day. However, I have noticed, you know, in hot weather, when I wear them during the summer and so forth, I do notice fading um, after, I'm not, honestly, I'm not sure how many hours, my guess would be like six-ish. Um, I, I didn't really track it during the summer when I was wearing those, but um, they do stay on fairly well for a cream product. They're not the most long lasting, but again, they just kind of sink into your skin so well. You don't really feel like you're wearing any makeup. Um, and I, I really enjoy the texture. So I think they are a great product. The lipsticks, I love Kosas lipsticks. I think the texture of them is absolutely fantastic. They are silky, they're creamy. Um, some of the colors feel a little bit heavier to me than others. Mm, but I think those are probably the ones that I purchased originally. I don't know if anything has changed with the formula since I first started buying these products. Probably it's been a, a year, maybe a little over a year since I first purchased them. And I noticed that my older ones do feel slightly thicker to me. Um, but any of the ones that I've bought recently, they really have more of a light texture to them. They're very silky on the lips. And the lasting power is, um, it's great. You know, it's like a, a typical lipstick. It's not going to, you know, you're going to end up with the stain on your lip after, you know, any extra kind of wears off. Um, but it's no different from a traditional lipstick and, you know, it's got great ingredients. So I love them. I do notice that, um, out of the colors I have, they do always tend to lean more cool, um, even like the warmer tone lipsticks, I, I don't know if it's just my lips turning things pink, which happens quite a bit with lipsticks, but I do always notice like a pink fuchsia type undertone with the darker colors. So this one's no exception, but it does, you know, it looks much warmer on the lips when I have it 
you know, as an actual full coat. So, um, you know, it, <laughs> I think until it actually wears down, I don't really notice the pink on, on this lipstick. So, um, overall, I think Kosas is great. I really, really like them. <laughs> By the way, this is not sponsored. Nothing I do is sponsored or affiliated in any way. I just really, really like them. So, um, you know, if you haven't tried them already, I highly recommend trying them. You know, they have some products that are not at a high price point. So I recommend, you know, just dip your toe in the water and try them out. And I think you'll love them also. Um, so that's it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them down below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Thanks so much for joining me and have a great day.